And then I came across something that blew even my dreams out of the water. Somebody won. Somebody won. You want they won? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. When you search the internet about vending machines, the only thing that comes up are vending machines in Tokyo and specifically Japan. And don't get me wrong, Japan has some of the most unique and best vending machines in the entire world. However, after exploring Taipei for a few days, there's been many occasions when I've randomly come across vending machines that are not only like Tokyo and Japan, but completely unique to Taiwan. So to realize my absolute craze and passion for vending machines, today I'm gonna be living, eating, shopping, literally everything that you can think of that you would do during a day on vending machines in Taiwan. Let's go. Let's get started on this. So for breakfast, I'm gonna get started off with an absolute bang. With going to a machine that I never thought was possible. Coconut vending machine. Never did I ever think I would be seeing a coconut in a vending machine. This is insane. But these are like actual fresh coconuts. So I'm not sure if like the machine or I have to cut off the little top there to drink it. See how this works. Yeah. So it's getting my coconut right there on the conveyor belt, drilling the coconut there. Oh my gosh, it's like a, they're actually drilling like a hole in that. So cool. Oh, and it's so cool. Wow. Ah, thank you. 39. Ah, 39, yeah. yes. Yeah. Ah. Okay, cool. Should I get it? Yeah, it's it? Okay, I'll get it. I wasn't gonna get the orange juice, but she said that it's good, so let's go for it. So you click this button right here. They just come popping down, and then something pushes it there, and then it looks like it's juiced into the cup down there. That's actually really freaking cool. Thank you. Freshly squeezed orange juice. Never did I think I was gonna be starting off this day with such fresh items. Like when you think about a vending machine, sure, maybe in some places you think of things being delicious and good, but you never think of fresh products. Like if you just take a look at that orange juice there, of course we saw it being squeezed, of course we saw it was fresh, but there's like literal just pulp in there. Oh, and the coconut is actually really good. Fresh coconut water, fresh squeezed orange juice. This morning, it's starting off right. Now, when I was thinking about what to eat for lunch today, I started to think about what this challenge was all about. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be eating from a vending machine here in a city that's possibly one of the most technologically advanced cities on the planet. So the only way you can describe this challenge is it makes me feel like, like I'm living one of my childhood dreams. So then I was like, what would I eat if I was a little kid again? And then I came across something that blew even my dreams out of the water. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cake vending machine. I can't believe this is an actual thing. Okay, so let's see how this works here. English purchase. All right, so they sell a Yannick cream roll cake, a mango cream fruit jelly cake, and a chestnut cream roll cake. I think I have to go with the mango cream. Oh, this is so freaking awesome. So there's a video camera inside the vending machine, and it shows it getting the cake right there. <laughs> I wonder how big this cake actually is. Oh, and there it is. Holy crap. Oh, it's like a little freezer too. That is freaking massive. Oh my god. I didn't think I was actually gonna get like an entire cake here. Like I truly don't know where to even start with this. Like there's a knife here and I guess I'm gonna cut it into pieces. I feel like I want to offer a piece to someone, but I feel like that would just be weird. Like sitting on the stairs here in the subway station, like, hey, do you want a piece of cake? <laughs> so anyway, let's dig in here. Oh, holy mango. Wow, first thing, there's actual mango chunks in there. Like, I've had cream rolls before in the past. Never from a vending machine, but from bakeries I've had cream rolls. You know, it's something that's pretty easy to enjoy. It's cake, it's cream, the two, they go pretty well with each other. But man, when you combine that with fresh fruit, especially mango, that is an absolute game changer. 
I'm an absolute heaven right here. <sighs> Every time I visit a country, I try to read a book about the place. However, before coming here, I didn't buy a book, and this is my second to last day. When I was thinking about a way to keep up this habit, I was like, okay, well, I'm doing vending machines today, so I'm not gonna be able to get it today, so that leaves me just with like one day to read. But then I was like, screw it, I'll look up if there's actually a book vending machine. This is so freaking awesome. This thing is huge! Oh my gosh! But for the most part, these books are all in Chinese. But up here, there looks to be a few that are in English and also French. But let's see how this thing works. Borrow. Please scan your Patreon card or Easy card. Oh no, it looks like you need to have a library card. Okay, let's see if I can actually get a library card in Taiwan. Hi, uh, I'd like to get a library card. Hey, do you have passport or IRC? Yes. I'll give you the Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So this is my, this will be my library card. Oh, that's so cool, nice. Cool, awesome. And your so. brother is your passport. Ah, okay, okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. Never did I think I would have a library card in Taiwan. Put my barcode there. <laughs> That's so awesome. Please enter the number of bookshelves. Let's go with 3071. Confirm. So cool. So the whole bookshelf just like moves down the row and then it comes out of what looks like this conveyor belt thing. So freaking cool. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so the book that I got is called The Elegy of Sweet Potatoes. And from that title, I have absolutely no idea what this book is about. So let's see what it is. It says the people of Taiwan call themselves sweet potatoes because the shape of Taiwan resembles a sweet potato. This book is a biographic story of one of the sweet potatoes arrested under foreign regime. Ooh, this book? Honestly, this is, I'm, I'm pretty content. This sounds like a super cool read. Book vending machine, you're amazing. Thank you, Taiwan, for making this massive thing. The thing that drew me to make this video today was just seeing the sheer variety of vending machines all across Taipei. There was a significant amount of vending machines that even with me not looking for this challenge, I had never ever heard of before. For snack time, I did some research and I weirdly found something that has existed in the past that's in our history, but looks like it's from a futuristic show. Oh my gosh, just take a look at this thing. So this contraption slash vending machine is called an automat. And actually these things used to exist like in every big city across the world. Kind of serving as like the fastest fast food that you've ever seen. But it looks like they don't have any hot food left. So I'm gonna go with one of their cookies here. And actually the cookies are pretty cute. There's like a dinosaur one. There's a purple guy, there's a chicken. But how these machines work is you insert the coins here and then all the buttons light up for the ones that are still available. So I think I have to go with the dino cookie. So cool. I mean, it's unfortunate that they didn't have any hot food, but I'm pretty content with my like dinosaur of a cookie. And the thing about the automat is the vending machine itself is actually still heating the food. So the cookie is actually still like pretty warm that actually that's a fresh baked cookie the interesting thing about this automat is that the cookie is hard itself but the inside it's still like a little bit moist and hot oh but I didn't even realize I bit off his eye there All right, so for dinner here, we need to have a serious talk. I've been a little bit living too much in my childhood dream, and now I've just like, I was up here with my sugar rush, and now it's just like been woo. Long story short, I need some actual real food here. And I think I found a place that both factors in that freshness, but also with a large selection variety of food. The only problem is, is that this vending machine is in the absolute massive Taipei 101 building. So put the adventure music on and let's try to find this thing. All right, so let's see if we can find it here. Supposedly on the fourth floor, there's restaurants. So that's where I'm gonna try first. I really hope it's on this floor. Excuse me. Um, do you know where, uh, this is. Yeah, thank you. 
Oh. Uh, not not this shopping center at the office center. Ah, yeah. the office center on the yeah, first yeah, floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you yeah, so much. You go there, you go. All right, gotta go to the building over. Looking for uh, the bento box vending machine. It's not open. Ah, yes, it's not open. No, it's so not open. basically, what's going on here is the security guard told me that these absolute mega super cool three bento box vending machines that range in choices from full-on chicken meals, pork dishes, fresh fish, and even smoothies was closed due to today being a holiday. Absolute sadness. So instead I made my way to another vending machine that sold famous Taiwanese instant noodles. So they have anything from seafood flavor instant noodles to braised pork to pork stew flavored to beef flavored. So I think for me I'm gonna go with the beef flavored. So not gonna lie definitely a disappointment but honestly I'm always in the mood for noodles so who's complaining? These noodles are pretty good, and they're absolutely fiery. But honestly, I'm not even complaining. There's like beef chunks in there, there's different seasonings. Like that broth gives off both a fiery, spicy sensation and also a salty, rich one. Ooh, it has turned to night, and just like every night, Taipei it's popping. Now probably the most difficult part during these vending machine challenges is the entertainment. It's very rare to find a vending machine that can produce like some sort of, you know, like interactive experience. But here in Taiwan, it's a completely different story. You see here in Taiwan, there's an absolute craze for claw vending machines. And I'm not just talking about like normal claw machines, like, oh, just drop down, get a stuffed animal. No, no, no. I'm talking about things like this or this. Or normal items like a hair dryer. And right now I'm in the Zeman district of Taipei, which supposedly, according to the internet, is the best place in all of Taiwan for claw machines. So anyway, let's go explore for the best one. Whoa, this one is a PS4 in here. It has officially drawn my attention. <laughs> they have like a fake Supreme bag. Well, at least I think it's fake. What? Some iPhone? I'm tempted to go for the iPhone. Oh. One's turned into five more times. I gotta leave this place. On to the next one. Before I ever do one of these machines, I always put a cap on how much I'm gonna spend. Oh my gosh, holy center full of them. Okay, back to what I was saying. I'm gonna put a cap on how much I'm going to spend. So I already spent 50. So I'm gonna put a cap on myself of like 200, which is equal to something like $6.60. Balls. Like a GoPro looking knockoff of a camera. Oh my god. Somebody won. Somebody won. Somebody won. Somebody they won? Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Two! Two? Yeah. Oh my god. So it's possible. Oh, oh, 20 times, right? Oh, 20 times. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, that pumped me up. Oh my gosh, I gotta get into this. Bladeless fan. Also, I'm saying it now before I win, but any of the prizes that I win will go for a giveaway with you guys. All right, I'm gonna go for the GoPro looking camera thing. <laughs> oh my God. All right, small beginnings. Loss number two. I don't think Starbucks would approve of this claw vending machine. A supposed Louis Vuitton, like, tiny dog. Did you make it easier? It's easy. It's really easy? Yes. Okay. I don't know if I trust you, though, because you're the, you're oh. the employee here. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. Oh. Okay. That is not easy. <laughs> Screw it. 50 more. I'm going for the iPhone. Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, so close. Oh, 200 just down the drain. Ah, although I didn't win, 
it was still a really cool cultural experience.